In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you're seeing on the UV Editor layout, but more specifically on the left-hand side where you see the UV Edit as far as the UV texture is concerned. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a shape, specifically a mesh, into my scene here. So we'll go ahead and go with the cylinder. Now remember, when you first add objects in, you're working in the object mode as far as your perspective view is concerned. So that's why you're not going to see anything actually appearing in UV Editing. Remember, keeping your object selected, you want to come up and click on the drop down and go into edit mode. At this point now, in the UV mapping area, you're going to see the UV maps appear. Like many 3D modeling programs, Blender will go ahead and for most of the prims, it will actually already have these pre-unwrapped for you. Now, as far as working with a UV map, a couple of things to point out in Blender. First off, across the very top here, you have several different boxes here as far as selecting a vertex, an edge, or a face. This is very similar to its object counterpart whenever you're in the edit mode, that you can work with the vertex, edge, and faces there as well. So for instance here, if I go ahead and currently I'm on the face, as I select, notice that it will select each of the objects. I can then move, rotate, or scale them depending on how I need the objects to be aligned. For the pre-created prims that already are unwrapped, the movement isn't too, too important. If you are creating your own 3D models, though, this becomes more important as far as being able to separate and work with different elements here. Now then, one of the other things that you may need to do at some point is come in and actually separate out or work with only a specific set of faces or parts of your overall shape is concerned. So I've gone ahead here and shift clicked and selected kind of a chunk of faces here as far as the side of the cylinder is concerned. In Blender, probably the most important drop down menu is going to be the UV drop down menu, where you're going to have multiple options as far as stitching, seaming, and also to exporting your UV maps. So for instance here, if I go ahead and come down and choose to split my selection, and then all the way at the bottom, kind of the midpoint here, I choose clear seams. I can now come in and you see now how I've completely separated off this chunk here. I'm going to go ahead and control Z though. Again, this isn't super pertinent for this type of layout since we're just working with the basic prim, but in the future, it could become important for you. The big other thing that I wanted to show you in this video is exporting this UV texture map so that you can work within a program like GIMP and Photoshop. That way then you can re-import and the work that you've done, you have these guides here as far as what are the faces and the locations of, the, of where things are going to be positioned on your model. Once again, you're going to go up under the UV drop-down menu, but all the way at the bottom, you're going to want to go to Export UV Layout. Now, a couple of things to point out here. First off, notice that by default, Blender wants to save this as a PNG you want a transparent background, so you don't actually want to change the format of the document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add demo in front of this, and I will export UV layout. Now it may look like nothing happened, but since I saved it to my desktop, you can see here, I now have my demo cylinder map. At this point now I could take this PNG I can import it into something like GIMP or Photoshop, and I can begin to use layers to make edits and then re-import it as a texture to be applied to my shape.